Good morning, happy Saturday, and welcome back to another week in our lives. My name is Ivy, and I'm super excited to have y'all along with us this week. Uh, this morning, Scotty and Aiden and I, uh, and we did have Riley at one point, uh, had to get up super early. To... <laughs> Sorry. That was good timing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to take Riley to get on the bus. We left the house about 6.40. Uh, she had to be to the school by before 7. Bus left at 7.00. Now we have softball tournament all day, um, but we stopped and got some McDonald's for breakfast. I actually meant to film, but I didn't because <laughs> my brain was not awake yet. Uh, but we did get some breakfast. Now we're just, we're way early. We got here at eight and the games don't start till nine. So we've sat here for like, sat here, sat here for like 30 minutes, but we'll probably go out pretty soon to go ahead and get our spots. But it's cold this morning. How cold is it right now? It was like 40 on our way up here. So it's gonna be a chilly morning, but it's gonna warm up nicely. It's gonna be in the 60s today for the rest of the day, but just stalling. I've got my big old blanket here and my big like um, snuggy hoodie thing. So I'm gonna be warm, but it's gonna be a little bit cold for this first game. So anyway, just wanted to open this up and say good morning to y'all. Welcome to this week in our life. Come along with us and see what all we can get into this week. Mm -hmm. Oh man! Oh, way up there. Oh, go! Riley. Let's go, Riley Flippo. Nice hit, kid. right in the way I couldn't see a thing. Softball is over. Riley did so good today. Uh, but now we're here to watch baseball for a few minutes at least. Hopefully we can catch a good portion of this game. Uh, but Caleb is playing, so we're gonna go watch Caleb play some baseball. Caleb Bayer. We are home from softball. Softball is a brutal sport for moms that have to sit out in the sun and get sunburned. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty rough. We went to Caleb's baseball game. Nobody said hi, Ivy. Everyone said, oh, you got a little bit of sun there. <laughs> I know. 
Yeah, it's pretty bad. This side, I can feel it. I just want to put a cold, wet rag on my face. Anyway, we're not actually home. We're obviously down at the cabin at the Airbnb. Um, we had guest checkout today. If you watched last week's vlog, um, they were really awesome people. We got to meet up with them and um, visit with them on Friday night. But they checked out today. It's very clean in here. They did a lot of the cleaning themselves. So we're just doing a really quick turnaround because we have guests coming tomorrow. So I'm not going to chit chat much. Aiden is starting the vacuuming. Scotty's starting stripping the beds. Riley's restocking all the stuff and wiping down the counters. And I need to go help Scotty make beds. So, <sighs> yep, quick turn. Not too bad. Late at night. It's 8.08. So, a lot earlier than last time when Scotty and I were finishing up down here. So, that's nice. Okay, I'll get off here and help. So, catch up with y'all later. Okay, we're home from cleaning the cabin. And Riley is showing me all her war wounds and her leg looks rough. Uh, so I was going to show you guys. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn the flash. There we go. Well, that's not much. Oh, yeah. Okay, you can see the bruise. So she got hit by the ball there. And then when she slid, it like scraped it up. She's got lotion on it right now. And then that right there and that and that. And you got a big bruise on your back too, right? Yeah. She got hit in the back by, <laughs> she was, were you stealing third? Yeah stealing third and they were trying to throw her out and hit her in the back. That bruise though, it does not look nearly as bad on the camera and it's going to look ugly tomorrow though, There's I bet. The stitches right there. Oh yeah. Yep. You can see stitches. <laughs> Crazy. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. It's after church. Gosh. Like there's no good light for my face. I'm sorry. Y'all just have to deal with it. Uh but we are down the lake we have guests coming in literally less than an hour but the towels weren't dry so we had to wait for the towels to dry uh, but we're fixing to leave but I'm down here and this is the only time I think I'll be able to be down here this week during the day outside because the guests check in today and they're here till Saturday so uh, and it's a beautiful day so I was just gonna give you all a quick glimpse at the lake we've got the red buds blooming all the flowers on the vinca are blooming so just give you some pretty sights for this beautiful spring Sunday and then we'll get back up to the house do some resting and everything but yep great it's a great moment to at least be able to spend down here with you guys so here it is let's take it all in
She tough. She tougher than me. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is a free ride. There you go, kid. Hey y'all, happy Monday. Uh, just when I thought my sunburn couldn't get worse because this was my sunburnt side, now I'm completely windburnt from tonight's game because it was so cold and we sat there and froze and got windburnt. Uh, I was talking to my friend Renee while she texted me and was like, is your windburn as bad as your sunburn? Yes, what is going on? And today I rubbed it off because my eyes were watering at the ball game, but I put um, <laughs> uh blush under my eyes to try and like cut down on this <laughs> and it helped a little bit but all the kids at school said miss ivy what's wrong do you have a sunburn miss ivy you're so sunburned miss ivy you look like a tomato miss ivy are you hot miss ivy are you sweating <laughs> they wouldn't leave me alone they were ruthless today okay but riley is in here she played a game. I was going to give you an update on her leg that's sitting here on the table. So I'll turn around and show you her leg from her leg from Saturday. So here's the update on the scrape. It's definitely turned into a scabby scab. And then her bruise is like, you can see the yellow all the way down into here. And yeah, looking pretty ugly. Anyway, so softball's not being very nice to us. <laughs> I look so ridiculous. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm trying to fix my fingernails. Um, my This one I broke two weeks ago, I think, at this point. And I've been trying to like salvage it, but I like recracked it today through my nail polish. <sighs> so... I think I'm going to, I'm going to try. It's barely hanging on there, but I'm going to try and save it for at least another week doing the home gel polish. But anyway, so that's what I'm doing right now is I've got my big old basket of stuff. Going to fix my nails and I'm going to bed. What time is it, Riley? 9.06. 9.06. I'm tired. Like being cold takes it out of you. Scotty's like, it's like when he goes hunting and sits out there in the woods and freezes all day. Um, yeah, that cold just takes it out of you. So. Anyway, I'm going to tell Riley goodnight and fix my nails, and I'll see y'all later. Hey, right when she's going to swing, I'll come get you. <laughs> come on, Riley, you got it. Let's go, Riley. Good job, Riley. Way to be patient. Good job. Yeah, she is. You better get it. Yeah. Go, Riley. You can do this, girl. Get out of your head. Oh, way to take it. What have you been doing? Yes! Yes! Hallelujah! Nice! Side quicker, Riley. Get on it. <laughs> That's it. Yes. Dang it. Good hit. Oh, 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 <laughs> nice hit, Riley. You found it! Thank goodness.
Let's go, Addy. Let's go, Addy. Nice hit. RBI, job, RBI, RBI, good job, Riley, good hustle. Good She's just silly. Do it again. Hey 
Hey y'all, happy Friday. It's actually evening. It's 6.30 in the evening. Um, it's been a good day. It's been a good week. I've hardly talked to y'all at all this week. Uh, excuse my weirdly made bed. I sleep with a throw blanket. <laughs> So I did not flatten it out when I made my bed. Um, I just covered, threw the covers over. Anyway, sorry, it distracted me. But pretty much all we've done this week is baseball and softball. So we had, Riley had softball. I think Caleb had softball. No, Caleb had baseball. Aiden had baseball. Riley had softball. Like it was just constant. Boom, 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 over and over. Um, so you will have seen lots of footage from that. And that's probably about it because that's all we've done this week. Nothing fully interesting. Um, I think the last time I talked to the camera was my grocery haul. Before that, I don't even know when it was. Maybe Saturday, maybe Sunday. I don't know. <laughs> It'll be interesting to edit here in a few hours. But anyhow, um, update on my face. A lot of you were so kindly like trying to give me some suggestions on the lotion. And I get it. I totally 100% get it. Like scented lotions aren't good. But I'm telling you guys, like look at my face. I didn't up close on my face the other day. But it was peeling so badly. I had like these dark, like crusty skin spots on my face. And like other than the super burnt part of my nose right here, um, everything else is cleared up. Like literally in one day. I should have vlogged progress. But that was Wednesday when I got groceries. I put it on my face after my shower Wednesday night. I woke up yesterday my face was just as clear as this it peeled a tiny bit more by the end of yesterday put it on my face again last night and this is it like literally put it on my face I think three times did I say Thursday morning Wednesday night Thursday morning and then this morning so it's crazy I don't know what it is about my skin and I do have somewhat sensitive skin I've used tried to use different products over the years and they have caused me trouble but Jergens is one I don't know why it does not bother my face so even though it's scented and thank you for your concerns, <laughs> I should have been more clear that I have used it before on my face and all of that rigmarole, but literally Mary Kay lotion. Well, I even had one Mary Kay that I used that did mess me up years ago. Um, but the one I use is like the time wise now and it works, but we're out of that. Um, but for real Jergens, it's weird and I know, and it's scented and it probably is, you know, sketchy and not good for a lot of people, but it doesn't bother my skin and it's one that doesn't. So over explaining what's new. Um, but I felt like I needed to explain because so many of y'all were concerned for me and I appreciate your concern for me, but I'm all good. I'm looking, you know, still a little bit red, but much less red and far less flaky <laughs> than I was the other day. So, um, let's see what else, what else? Um, I had a very uneventful day at school today. It's pajama day. I have pajamas on right now. Um, and I didn't have students at all today. So I finished a course and I haven't even talked to you guys about this. I don't think, but I, well, I know I did talk to you about the big tests I'm studying for and taking with my college. Um, it's been very difficult to find study materials. I think I talked about that. So I talked to my mentor earlier this week in the last week. I don't remember when it was, maybe it was last Thursday. And, um, she suggested that I go ahead and take my science methods course, which is like how to teach science. And that might help me. She's a genius because that course was so helpful. Like I remember things from the practice test as I was going through this course. I'm like, yep, I, that that's helpful. That's helpful. Um, and so today I finished my coursework took the practice test, passed the practice test with flying colors. So I scheduled my test for tonight. So it's 629 on the dot, <laughs> 29 on the dot. Like what do you, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, have I talked to humans before? I don't know. Um, 629, my test is at seven o'clock. Um, so I need to get over here and like, just do a quick little review of the ones that I missed on my practice test today, just to like bump that score up even a little higher. But for real, like I feel so much more prepared to take the other tests now after doing this course. So let's pray that the, I'll update you in a little bit after I take the test, but let's pray that it goes as well as the practice test did. Um, but I really do help. It has, I do think it has helped again. Have I spoken before? Ugh. I think that it will help prepare me for my big test. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Um, I still need to take my second round of practice tests on that, but I feel a lot more confident. So I'm about ready to do that. I'm going to finish this course this weekend. So I have to take the test and write a lesson plan. Um, so yeah, no problem there. I'm, I'm ready and ready to put that out there. So anyway, I'm going to get off here, go do a quick little check over my um, study materials and then take my test and I'll catch up with y'all later, let you know how it went and close this vlog and edit it because it's Friday night. So um, I also forgot to tell you I painted my nails somewhat unsuccessfully. They're already chipping. Um, ignore those okay Scotty has cleaned them and everything they just need to get put away they're empty they're just they just need to go in this cabinet right here and I don't know why they're not in there anyway I had talked to y'all the other day so that is something I did because I was trying to save this nail and I did I successfully saved it for at least a few more days and then today was the day I finally broke it off um but it is like grown out can you even see let me block my face excuse my cuticle I've been trying to be very gingerly with this finger anyhow it was well if you can imagine like three weeks two and a half weeks of growth on this nail how far down into my nail bed that was um so why I wanted to try and save it as long as I could because it would have hurt if I had to go ahead and take that broken part off so I successfully saved my nails but now I already need to repaint them again but I saved it for a few extra days and thank goodness so okay now for real I need to study for my test so I'll catch up with y'all later all right y'all I just finished my test um I don't feel so hot about that one. Oh my gosh it was way harder than the practice test so I think it's okay I think I probably passed but um, I thought I would just check it out with you guys. So let's open it up. Try and get me in the screen in here. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Assessments. It's not posted yet. Sometimes it posts immediately and sometimes it takes a little while. One time it took like 20 minutes or something and I was freaking out because I'm like, oh my gosh, it always has posted so immediately. Okay, well, I wanted to do this like real time. I'll just leave it recording and like edit out what it ends up being. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Let's try to get my webcam. Anybody else's webcam creep them out? Okay. Let me refresh again. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here, let me open it up. <sighs> this is so scary. What the heck? What would I want to know? Coaching report, maybe? Oh. Okay. Hang on. I'll show you. I'll turn around and show you. But yay, I passed. I passed pretty well. So about the same as my pretest. Maybe a little bit worse, but it, oh, I passed. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, might not mean much to you guys, but this means I passed, and then this is each individual thing. So that one I didn't do the best in, did great in that, didn't do great. So the green and blue is good, and the orange is not great, but I got all of them right in that one, so that's good. <laughs> okay, thank goodness. Oh, that's over with, and I passed, so hallelujah, that's great. Like I said earlier, Doing this course now was more about preparing for my other tests. So I still do have to write a lesson plan about like planning out a science lesson, but um, lesson plans have historically been a little bit um, on the easier side for me. I think I have had a few sent back, but it's like, oh my gosh, I immediately figured out what I did wrong. Um, but yeah, this makes me feel so much more confident about taking my important tests. <laughs> so anyway, yay. I passed. Thanks for the prayers. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna go find something to eat because now it, that took me a long time too. What time is it? It's 844. That was one of the longer tests. I started at seven. So that was a longer one than normal. But anyway, yeah, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten dinner. I ate a granola bar before I started because I'm like, oh my gosh, I have a headache. I'm gonna be starving. So I ate a granola bar. I drank some water. I took some Advil. <laughs>
I was set to go. I did pretty good on like my headache didn't disrupt me or whatever. Oh my gosh, my phone's about to die. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go eat and charge my phone and I'll see y'all later. All right, y'all. Uh, it's late, late, late. And it's 11, <laughs> late, 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 11.08. Um, I've actually already filmed this outro once about an hour ago. Um, but I've been editing and I realized I didn't talk about nearly, nearly what I talked about. The funny thing is I had hiccups then also. <laughs> And I said, I've had hiccups for the second time today, and I'm going to have them a third time. I should probably put that in as proof. proof. Plus, I need to make this short because I have hiccups for the second time today, which normally I get them three times in a day when I get them. So I hope that doesn't mean I'm going to have them again tomorrow. But now I have hiccups for the third time for the day. I knew it was going to happen. They always come in threes. Always, always, always. My whole life. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Sorry. I was also in a very grumpy mood about an hour ago and I want to redo this anyway because I was really negative. So. so anyway, I ended up just eating applesauce and peanut butter bread because nobody cooked while I was doing my test. And I come out and everyone says, what was for dinner? I'm like, it's almost nine o'clock. I don't know, what's for dinner? Somebody else could have cooked while I was doing my thing. No. And it's fine. I ate whatever. And now they're just now figuring out at almost 10 o'clock whatever they want to eat. So, so anyway, moving on. Um, the things I didn't talk, talk about this week. Riley played softball Monday and Tuesday and Thursday this week. And I'm already like to Thursday editi editing. So she actually played Saturday, which was three games, and then um, Monday and Tuesday, and then two, two games on Thursday. So she's really exhausted, actually. And then, of course, we saw Caleb's game, which I did talk about those. And then um, Aiden played his first uh, game of the season last night as well, and he pitch, pitched it. And actually, Scotty got his really good hit. And if I can get his phone, he's actually already asleep on the couch. But if I can get his phone and get that, that footage off, I'll get it inserted too. Hopefully, I already did that by this point. All right, popping him back in one more time. Because <laughs> not only did Aiden get a really awesome hit and other hits in between, he also struck out nine batters on his first ever time starting pitching. And this is the most he's ever pitched in a ball game nine batters. So he had a really awesome game. I'm really sad that I missed as much as I did. I did see him strike out five before I had to go up. So I caught over half of his strikeouts. So anyway, he rocked it. I'm so proud of him. So, okay. Now back to whatever I was saying. And so anyway, last night, Thursday night, both kids played at school, at our school and our fields are by each other. So we watched more of Aiden's game because Riley We'd already watched Riley play so many games this week, but we were able to kind of catch parts of her game from the outfield of her field, you know, and she almost hit it over the fence. That was so exciting, exciting, but she didn't quite get it there and it was foul and then she got walked. So it was like, eh, but, um, then I had to go work, work family night up at the school. And so, um, I'll insert it here. I I was in charge of setting up the photo booth and I love how it turned out. It was so, so, so cute. And, um, Scotty helped so much and, um, he cut the logs for me and he cut the little roasting sticks and, um, he brought a branch for me. He helped me get everything down the tent, the sleeping bags, the fire pit. So like he helped me so much and he helped me carry it everything in and he helped me carry everything out. So, uh, anyway, he was a huge help to me on that. But, um, anyway, so that was my thing. So I had to go work that for an hour and then I came back down and watched more baseball and soft softball. And so we got home really late last night too. But, um, yeah, I, I, so I just wanted to like reclose this up out because I realized how much I didn't even talk about. There's so much ball footage and I apologize for that. I hope it wasn't terrible. I tried to cut out and I thought about like saying like first at bat, second at bat, you know, but you kind of get that they didn't like just only bat for 
for the game, right? And I never catch any of the plays they make on camera. So like if they catch a pop fly or whatever, I would literally have to record the whole game. So I very rarely get any of their like fielding on camera or on video, but I know when they're coming up to bat and chances are they're going to hit. So anyway, um, but the reason I didn't get Aiden's is because I wasn't even there. I missed his huge hit and uh, I was bummed about that, but that's okay. Anyway, so that is going to do it for this vlog. Thank y'all so much for coming along with me today, <laughs> this week. I hope you have enjoyed this very heavy ball, softball, baseball, <gasps> ball filled vlog, <laughs> hiccup filled vlog. Um, if you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down <laughs> in the comment box. <laughs> I even tried a teaspoon of sugar and it still hasn't helped. That's usually the remedy that helps for me and it's not helping. Uh, leave me a comment down in the comment box. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you have not yet. If you enjoy, enjoy this vlog and the mess that I am, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my future content. So thank you all so much for coming along with me today. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.